So this clutch master cylinder was worn out and in order to remove it we had to detach the hydraulic line but the flare nut was jammed in place. It seemed like it was rusted on the tubing so we cut it off. Alright so this is the part that we had to cut off to detach it from the master cylinder. So we're using this tubing as a replacement and this compression adapter to join this with the old tubing. We'll cut it, bend it, and join it. We don't have to do any custom flaring. This tube is already flared on this end, and we got the new flare nut. And then when we join the two pieces together, there's no need to flare. We just cut the ends off, make sure they're the right distance, and then connect the two together. So here's our bending tool. We marked off where the peak of where we want the bend to be. So we put the tool inside here. I think that's it. Okay. Now we have to cut some. Now we have to chamfer and deburr it. We could use a drill bit. Okay, I'm chamfering the opening here. It's smoothing out. Now that we'll smooth the outer edges up. Okay, so this is the collar for the coupler. So now that goes on the tube nicely. And this is the nut. Put the collar back on. And then we'll attach it to the compression fitting. Okay, now we just got to tighten this up. Feels like it's coming off now. And I'm ready to attach it. This goes down here. And this should slide in here. And then we tighten it up. Now we just torque everything down. Okay, that's how you fix it. We're done.